The Michael Brown shooting, a complete timeline. Protests have spread across the United States after a grand jury decided not to indict Darren Wilson, the Ferguson, Missouri police officer who fatally shot black teenager Michael Brown on August 9th. Giving evidence, Officer Darren Wilson said he saw Michael Brown and Dorian Johnson walking along the double yellow line on Canfield Drive when he asked the pair to move to the sidewalk. Wilson said Johnson ignored him while Brown walked toward his vehicle and cursed at him. Wilson then noticed cigarillos in Brown's right hand and believed he was involved in a theft that was reported earlier. Wilson said he tried to get out of the vehicle, but Brown slammed the door before leaning in to throw at least one punch. Wilson said Brown then went for his gun. Wilson pulled the trigger twice unsuccessfully before firing a shot the third time, which struck the door. Wilson said Brown was surprised but continued to attack. Wilson fired another shot before Brown fled the scene. However, Dorian Johnson said Wilson was the one who grabbed Brown around the neck through the open car door window and fired his gun. After the altercation by the vehicle, Wilson said he chased Brown, who stopped at a light pole. Wilson said when Brown turned and advanced, he fired numerous shots at the teenager, which a later investigation revealed was 10 shots. However, Johnson said Brown had turned and held his hands up, but the officer continued to shoot, killing Brown. Brown's body ended up about 150 feet east from Wilson's vehicle, with a trail of blood stretching 20 feet further east. Brown's body was reportedly left on the street for four hours. A private autopsy showed that the teenager was shot at least six times, twice in the head and four times in the right arm. Protests against the failure to indict Wilson have spiraled out of control. Shops in Ferguson were looted while heavy gunshots were fired. Did you miss a teacher sex story? Visit the Nastier Nice section on tomonews.net.